Hi folks, Livio Regano with tonight's weather. The great tropical heat wave of 2020 has now spread to southern Queensland, but for the first time in almost two weeks, we can see light at the end of the tunnel. The cool change will reach the southeast this Thursday after a big day of severe storms tomorrow. And this weekend, the heat will finally begin to soften in the tropics. We've pretty much run out of temperature records to break, so today's stats don't seem that exciting anymore, just the usual ridiculous heat. Our highest local rainfall was 78 millimetres from last night's storms at Forbes Road, south of Proserpine. On the satellite loop now, some random storms got going again today, but none were severe as we expected. Certainly no warnings were put out uh, this afternoon or evening. A few little cells out there, and you can still see that giant rotating low off the coast of Sydney that's causing all the furore over New South Wales. Let's look at today's chart now. The main thing is the inland trough, it's still west of us, and that's why it's been so hot, because everything to the northeast of that trough is a tropical air mass, not a southeasterly trade wind, and it's that persistent heat that's kept those temperatures high, especially through the tropics over all these weeks. Now on tomorrow's chart, the trough finally reaches southeast Queensland as this next high pushes across the bite. It's the first one we've seen in a long time. As it gets there, it'll set off severe thunderstorms, possibly with giant hail right through the southeast and up through the wide bay, maybe even the Capricornia. And on the outlook chart, as that trough moves through, a southeasterly change, the first cool change in a long time, starts to move up the coast, but it won't reach the tropics in a weakened form until the weekend. Now the latest from the Weather Bureau, boating forecast for Mackay Waters, northerlies 15 to 20 knots tomorrow, dropping to 10 to 15 on Thursday. And then finally on Friday, the southeasterly change, only 10 to 15 knots though. Another low tide will greet us tomorrow morning, rising to a modest peak six hours later. We're almost at half moon, so there isn't a great deal of water movement. Central Coast and Sundays, 50% chance of showers with possible severe storms. Mackay reaching 33 degrees, Bowen 34, Proserpine 35. Central Highlands and Calfields, again some showers around and storms could be severe. Emerald, a very hot night and even hotter day, 39 degrees. Claremont 40 and Moranbar 39. Looking ahead for Mackay, cooler from Friday onwards, but still in the 30s. The return of the ocean trade winds will certainly make for a more comfortable week, though quite showery most days. And that's all for tonight, folks. Pleasure to have your company as always, and thanks for watching 7 Local Weather. I'll be here again tomorrow with more weather stuff, especially on the heat. Hope you can join me, but now it's back to the team. Yeah, wonderful. Loom. Good on you, mate. Thank you very much. And a reminder, anything you missed, you can catch it again on our 7 Plus app or our page, 7news.com.au. As always, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow night. Good night.